People love bluebirds because they are so beautiful. I think that's the simple answer. Smack dab in the middle of Alberta's heartland, on a pancake flat stretch of lush Canadian prairie, is a special place where people and birds, especially mountain bluebirds, flock together. We are trying to preserve a very interesting kind of bird, the mountain bluebird. They are very shy little birds and they're very unique to this area. Welcome to the Ellis Bird Farm. Nestled just southeast of Lacombe, Ellis is both a real working farm and a nonprofit organization dedicated to the conservation of mountain bluebirds, tree swallows, and other native cavity nesting birds. And that's really why we call it the bird farm. It is not a chicken farm. From late May to early September, you can stroll pathways through beautiful flower and water gardens. See the world's largest outdoor collection of bluebird boxes, 400 and counting, and of course, enjoy an abundance of backyard birds. A feather to cap your visit would be a slice of homemade pie served in the tea house. Ellis Bird Farm is so unique in so many ways. It's this juxtaposition of old and new, of upscale and down to earth, of high tech and rural. Whether it's a bluebird festival or a bug jamboree, building bird boxes, or a bird banding demonstration. There's always something exciting at Ellis. The origins of this wonderful wildlife sanctuary go back to the spring of 1955, when a man known as Mr. Bluebird began building bird boxes, a lot of bird boxes. Mr. Bluebird was Charlie Ellis. He lived here with his sister, Winnie Ellis, and they were true conservationists before it became popular. They were viewed by many of their neighbors as wonderful people, but maybe just slightly eccentric. He would get up every morning and he would walk all the fence lines on one quarter section and check all his bluebird boxes. He had about 300 bluebird boxes. So successful were his efforts that by the late 1970s, there were more mountain bluebirds nesting on this farm than any other place in the world. That's why he became known as Mr. Bluebird. And Winnie was the gardener, so she planted all of the orchards you see around here. Many of these gardens are her original gardens. Charlie and Winnie retired from farming in 1980 and sold the farm to Union Carbide. But only after Charlie said, We will sell our land to you, but you have to look after the birds. And so they set up this nonprofit company to carry on the legacy of Charlie and Winnie Ellis. Today, ME Global Canada owns the ethylene glycol plant and continues to support the mission at Ellis. Ellis Bird Farm is a partnership that tries to model how industry, conservation and agriculture can work together. If it were not for that balance, this place we stand on right now would probably be just a grain field and we would not have the opportunity to bring all the children here, all the seniors and all the visitors to learn about the environment. Although once a threatened species, the mountain bluebird now enjoys least concern status, thanks in part to the Ellis Bird Farm. Ellis Bird Farm has had a tremendous impact on local populations of birds. Starting with Charlie Ellis, who inspired people to put up purple martin houses and to put up bluebird boxes. Thousands of people now attract those birds. But we've also inspired people to plant plantings that will bring in those native pollinators and bring in the birds. Here I can create habitat for wildlife. I can also showcase how gardeners can create gardens in an organic and a sustainable fashion. We showcase here everything from a small front yard to a huge acreage. We've really been at the forefront of inspiring people to think about wildlife when they garden and think about the wildlife that they share their backyards with. By example and through education, we teach people about nature. While admission to the bird farm is free, kids of all ages agree that the Ellis experience is priceless. Who knew learning could be so much fun? Oh my gosh, they're so small! Oh my gosh! So cute! I've learned how to feed goats. <laughs> I've also learned how to make bird boxes and all sorts of interesting facts about wildlife and their habitats. I found one! My favorite part of the Alice Bird Farm is the pond dipping. 
I find that really fun when you find leeches and snails and little water strider thingamajigs. <laughs> The seniors, it's great for them to come out here. The walkways are for wheel accessories and uh, for walkers and stuff, so it was a place that we could go and have no troubles. Author and poet Henry David Thoreau once wrote, the bluebird carries the sky on his back. And with a true blue friend like the Ellis Bird Farm, the mountain bluebird will always have a special place to share a blue sky day. Alice Bird Farm is special to me because it's beautiful and I love coming here. I learn something every time. I like to come here because of the nature of the place. This is a very relaxing place. So when people leave Ellis Bird Farm, we hope they carry the message that we aren't the only creatures on earth of any importance. We share our outdoor living space with many other creatures. And what we're sharing is learning to respect and honor the earth. And I think that's a very noble occupation. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV. 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.